Until Nigeria addresses the fundamental challenges, insecurity will continue to rise. This was a view of stakeholders at a dialogue on state police held in Abuja. The program was put together by the Rule of Law and Accountability Center under the aegis of free civic space. This exceptionalism of the police, we need to be very careful. And I do hope that attraction that the police will solve insecurity problem, uh, I think is misplaced. My argument has always been police do not create insecurity and they cannot be solution to it. You need to go back to the fundamental. We look through the challenges facing the country. Uh, we isolated all those challenges and say, look, we need to deal with these challenges, including state police. But the ruling elite did not take that these things were important. But we are happy that at least today, the federal government is looking at the issue of state police. The National Assembly already commenced debates speedily considering a bill for the establishment of state police. The bill has gone through second reading already and now proceeds to the Constitution Review Committee. This is coming against the backdrop of the spike in the spate of kidnappings and banditry across the country, including at the Federal Capital Territory. The current debate followed the decision by the President and 36 state governors to establish state police in Nigeria as their response to the spike in the spate of kidnappings and banditry across the country, including the Federal Capital Territory. The Civil Society Panel on Police Reform 2012 in its report warned that state police should only be established on a basis of strict adherence to the principles of operational autonomy and be based on sound professional practice in appointment operations and control. The United Nations International Organization for Migration, I